It seems like all the stars are weighing in. Aaron Carter, who we mentioned earlier, <laughs> Gabby Hoffman, George uh, George Clooney, Tila Tequila has finally <laughs> voiced oh my God, her who's opinion. Who's Tila supporting? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Every, everyone's been Trump. waiting for that one. Trump, of course. She's supporting Isn't Trump. Is she actually supporting Trump? She's actually oh, yeah. supporting Trump. She's supporting Trump. Oh, these are I bad think I'm, feelings. I'm yeah, having. I mean, fa- I mean, fact check that, but Trump. I think she's supporting. Yeah, she's supporting she Trump. Yeah. yeah, that is that is correct. Who else uh, would she support? Tila, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, are we reaching a new level with uh, uh, celebrity political endorsements? I mean, they're nothing new, but is this? A they're new... nothing new, but I think this particular election cycle, it's hard to tell where the celebrity endorsements end and the actual candidate begin. <laughs> you know, like we're actually at a point where it's like, is Trump, what is Trump? Uh, and also, what is Hillary? Um, you know, the, the power of these things is growing incredibly ferociously. I mean, you, I saw it in Iowa in the summer where for, before those caucuses, like Katy Perry was there like four times or something like that for Hillary Clinton. Um, you know, there, there's it, it's, it has reached a whole new level and it's so upsetting. Emily, what's in it for celebrities? Well, this is a very, very long process that they get to be a part of. (laughs) Uh, Like, even to Steve's point about Katy Perry, like, she was uh, in front of a crowd, amping them up and getting to be part of it. They get to be talked about, and maybe one day they themselves can run for president. You know, they weigh in on the political issues now. I see Katy Perry more as attorney general. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I also think that, like, I feel like Obama's presidency has also, I mean, we've talked about him as a pop culture president before, Mm. and I think that he made the presidency cool in a way. And so to be invited to the White House, to, you know, to be a part of of that administration in some kind of way, and he was so friendly to whether it was appearing on talk shows or bringing people in or having, you know, Beyonce and Jay-Z over. And so I actually think that, so it became like a hot ticket to actually be a Mm. part of the scene. I mean, I don't think that people were clamoring to like hang out with the Bushes. Um, But I think that, uh, I think that there was a sense with Obama that the relationship between celebrity and politics yeah. has really melded. Last question to you, Emily. Does uh, does the candidate that a celebrity supports change the way you think about them? So, for example, if Tila was actually pro-Bernie, <laughs> does that change how you think about Bernie? Uh, I would assume that he was, like, very, very sex positive <laughs> if he's gaining Tila Tequila's support. I'm sure he is anyway. <laughs> or would it change how you think about Tila? It has changed how I think about Tila. I am very sad to hear that Tila Tequila is a Trump supporter. I'm like, no, girl. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Stephen, what's your most? Uh, what's the most irritating political endorsement you've seen so far? Boy, it's really hard because you mentioned Tila. So, or, I mean, so like how could that be – how could there be any worse than that? I mean, I guess it's probably Katy Perry because she's so empty and also she supports the candidate that has the most substance, right? Like Hillary Clinton who actually – you know, so like it's just so humiliating for the world that <laughs> Hillary Clinton has to get Katy Perry to come out to impress people. I mean, that's just so sad. Thank you guys uh, so much for joining me. That's the Q Pop Culture panel. 